In this video, we're going to be going over the best armored cars in GTA 5 Online. But before we get into the video, I just want to remind you to smash that subscribe button. It's completely free and you can unsubscribe whenever you want. There's literally no good reason not to subscribe and it really ups out the channel, so please just take a second and make sure you're subscribed. The first vehicle on this list is the Armored Karuma, which is a bulletproof car that costs just over $600,000. But you can get it for a trade price of $525,000 if you complete the Karuma setup mission for the Fleeka Job Heist. The Karuma is really good because it's completely bulletproof, aside from the small windows to the size of the driver and passenger seat. This makes the Karuma very useful for fighting NPCs in missions and heists, because they actually only use bullets and not explosives. The only major downside to the Karuma is that it has no explosive protection, but overall the Karuma is still very useful for defense against NPCs and lower level players that don't use explosives. And the number 9 spot on this list is the Duke of Death, which is an armored muscle car that costs $650,000, but you can actually get it for free if you're a returning player and link your social club account. The Duke of Death is mostly bulletproof, but it is a little bit less bulletproof than the Karuma. It also has some basic explosive protection and can actually take an RPG or two before blowing up. It can also do wheelies, which is pretty cool and useful in some rare situations. In my opinion, the Duke of Death is one of the better armored cars for beginners, but to be honest, they're much better options for more experienced players. Coming in at the number 8 spot is the Insurgent, just the regular one, not the pickup custom. The Insurgent costs just under $900,000, but you can get it for a trade price of about $200,000 less if you complete the Humane Labs Raid Heist. The Insurgent is a heavily armored vehicle that can take many homing rockets and RPGs. It also has decent off-road capabilities, especially for an armored car. This is probably one of the better vehicles for under $1 million to protect yourself against griefers, since you should be able to take quite a few rockets when you're inside it. At the number 7 spot on this list is the Stromberg, which is an armored amphibious vehicle that costs $3.185 million, but you can get it for a trade price of about $2.4 million after completing the submarine recon mission as part of the Doomsday Heist. The Stromberg has pretty good bullet protection, and it can also take a few homing missiles and RPGs before blowing up. The Stromberg is also equipped with homing missiles and a machine gun, and both of them are pretty good at taking out even most of the well-armored targets in the game. On top of that, the Stromberg is able to transform into a submersible and go in the water where it's equipped with torpedoes. Overall, the Stromberg is a pretty great weaponized vehicle that has a lot of useful features. The next vehicle on this list is the Night Shark, which is an armored SUV that costs $1.245 million. Just like the Insurgent, the Night Shark can take a lot of homing missiles and RPGs. And it's a really good vehicle to stop oppressor Mark II griefers, since it can actually take more missiles than the Mark II can hold. Unlike a lot of the previous vehicles on this list, the Night Shark actually has a fixed machine gun on the front of it. And to be honest, it's not that strong, but it can be useful for taking out some lightly armored enemies. Coming up next is the Insurgent Pickup Custom, which is an armored pickup truck that costs just under $1.8 million, but you can get it for a trade price of $1.35 million if you complete the Humane Labs Heist. The Insurgent Pickup Custom is similar to the Night Shark in terms of being able to take a lot of missiles, and it can also take more missiles than the Oppressor Mark II can hold. It also has some basic bullet protection, but not as good as the Karuma or some of the other vehicles on this list. The Insurgent Pickup Custom does have a mounted machine gun on top of it, but you'll need a second player to use it. The Insurgent Pickup Custom's machine gun is actually pretty good, and after you upgrade it, you'll be able to easily destroy even a lot of armored targets. Coming in at the number 4 spot on this list is the Ruiner 2000, which is a muscle car that costs about $5.75 million, but you can get it for a trade price of $4.32 million after completing the Special Vehicle Work Missions through SecuroServe. This is gonna sound a little weird, but you're not actually buying the Ruiner 2000 for the vehicle itself. Instead, you're buying it because it unlocks the fully loaded VIP mission, which gives you access to the fully loaded Ruiner when you start it. Now I know what you're probably thinking. Mr. Million, you're a f***ing idiot. That's such a dumb idea. But hear me out on this one. The fully loaded Ruiner is an absolute beast. It can take 27 homing missiles, and it also can't be locked onto. It also has unlimited homing missiles that have amazing tracking. On top of that, the Ruiner can also jump and it has a parachute, which can be pretty useful in certain situations. The mission lasts 20 minutes, and after you're done, there is a little bit of a cooldown, so if someone like an Oppressor Mark II Griefer is bothering you, you can just start up the mission, and the time that the mission gives you should be more than enough to deal with them. The Fully Loaded Ruiner is honestly one of the best armored vehicles in the game, but because of its price, I can't really justify putting it up any higher on the list. At the number 3 spot on this list is the Tereter, which is an armored amphibious vehicle that costs $3.66 million. The Tereter was recently added in the KO Preco Heist update, and it's kinda like an enhanced version of the Stromberg. The Tereter has pretty good armor, and it can take a lot of missiles before blowing up, and it also has some basic bullet protection. It also has unlimited homing missiles that have really good tracking, and hit their target almost all the time. This makes it really useful for countering griefers and for fighting NPCs during missions. It also has a boost that recharges very quickly, and with its boost, it's one of the fastest vehicles in the game. As an added bonus, the Tereter can actually turn into a submersible, and it can use its boost underwater. 
Overall, the Charita is easily one of the best vehicles in the game, simply because of how useful it is in a wide variety of situations, and it's also a lot of fun to use. The next two vehicles on this list are tied for the first and second spots, since they're both pretty similar and have really good armor. These are the Terabyte, which costs about $1.3 million, and the Mobile Operations Center, which costs about $1.2 million. They are large armored command trucks that are pretty good at taking a lot of missiles, and both should be able to take more than 20 missiles, which is really useful since a lot of the weaponized vehicles in the game have a 20 missile capacity. The MOC and the Terabyte have very different weapons. The MOC can be equipped with front and rear turrets, which are pretty strong if you have friends to help you use them. The Terabyte can have a turret station and a drone station added to it, and both are very useful for taking out other players. And I'm pretty sure that the turret can actually lock on to multiple targets. The Terabyte is also very useful in general, because you can actually run your businesses from it. Both of these vehicles have some of the best armor in GTA Online, but their main downsides are that you will need to own either a nightclub or a bunker to buy them, depending on which one you get. And they're also kind of difficult to maneuver in certain situations because of their size. Thanks for watching, check out one of these videos next, leave a like, and subscribe.